Good morning, backers. It's uh, Mike from Dogmite here. This is our first update. And wow, what an amazing day one. It is one of our best first days ever on Kickstarter. So thank you so much for all of your support. It really means a lot. Um, we're still a, a relatively small shop, so all of the support that you guys offer is wonderful and, and means a lot to us and our woodworkers. We're gonna do regular video updates. So we're gonna give you the schedule below. Um, and in each of those updates, we're gonna be doing a deeper dive into each of the products that are part of the Phoenix collection. The first one we're gonna go into is the Phoenix Player Pad. Which we're... Right down. And this one's a little bit special because it's for the first time we've sculpted it on the back, which is pretty killer and we're pretty excited about it. So a player pad is a really good tool for RPG players. Uh, gives you an area to store your dice, store your pens, pencils, dry erase, wet erase markers. Um, it even has a little rolling tray in, in it as well. And then one of the coolest aspects is it comes with a plexi panel. Um, and we have over 25 designs of these. And they are great for tracking stats, spell slots during a session. One of the coolest things we've done is made so many of these that are class specific and system specific. Uh, that really there's almost anything you could want there. Each of the player pads through the Kickstarter is going to come with one of these um, that will be your choice and you can always add on. They're backwards compatible so if you play a rogue right now and in your next campaign you play a monk you're going to be able to get a plexi for specifically for the monk with key points that will fit right onto the player pad that you get in the Phoenix collection. All right so let's take a look inside the player pad. Uh, plexi comes off, it's held on by eight rare earth magnets. Uh, there's three compartments in the player pad. The top one is generally for holding dice, coins, anything that you'd like. Holds about 20, 20 polys. Um, then we have a smaller area for pens, pencils, dry or wet erase markers. Those come out easily. And then the last section is a larger area, great for storage as well. Decks of cards, spell cards, crit hit decks will fit in this spot. Um, and it makes a great little personal rolling tray when you're playing at the table. This is made out of pure hardwood. It is all curly maple that's been banded for strength um, and to protect against movement. It is hand stained by our woodworkers with trans tint finishes that are hand mixed by us. Um, these are light fast, they won't fade over time. And then it's all covered with our catalyzed lacquer finish for a lifetime of hard use at your table. Um, we're really excited about the sculpt on the backside. Our artist Alyssa Menold drew the design pretty consistent all the way through the Phoenix collection and a recurring motif and that's sculpted directly into the wood. These are not appliques. Um, they will be there forever. Curly Maple is gorgeous. We use it a lot when we do colorful finishes. It has a figure that reveals this kind of flame-like quality to it and that's going to be consistent all the way through the products as well and it looks gorgeous at the table. Thank you for taking the time out to watch this little deeper dive into the player pad and thanks again for the support on the Kickstarter. We're going to be doing regular updates every Monday, Wednesday, Friday and we're going to be looking at the other products in the Phoenix collection. Um, thanks again. Thanks for joining us on this ride.